can't believe you let me go as a turny game of you. Yeah, I and mean, besides, I wanted to see Chad play with us. I didn't want to go by myself. Oh, you're right. You are a good friend. I mean, Carlos is doing really well. I mean, that train with Ben really helped him. Yeah, I mean, I think they're actually doing pretty good. Your diary. Well, Ben is really great attorney. The team beat the Sheriff Falcons 3 to 2. And yes, he's my boyfriend now. He made that clear in front of everybody. And yes, I put a spell on him that's turned him all googly eyed and crazy about me. Tell me how pretty and smart and fun I am. I'll admit to it that it is my fault. But this slum is over the top ridiculous. I don't know if I messed up the recipe or what, but today, after every time he scored, he put his hand on his heart and looked up into the stands at me. He must have blown me a hundred kisses. Then as soon as the game ended, he burst into another song and dance and got the entire crowd to help him spell out my name. I love you, Mel. Did I mention that? Chance my play for now. What? And I need to go to Cornish with him. Suddenly, to pity date. Ew. Mel, will you go to Cornish with me? Uh, yes! She said yes! <laughs> Sorry for Audrey. You do? Yeah. I mean, I feel like if she were talented like you, she knew how to sew and she knew beauty types of fashion you need, Prince, and you think for herself. <laughs> I guess I am kind of talented. You're definitely gifted. <laughs> Thank you, Ben. <sighs> oh! Uh, hi, Ben. Hey, Mel. So, I was wondering, um, did you, would you like to go on a date with me? A date? Um... Sure! Why not? Great! I'll pick you up tomorrow. It's gonna be great! Okay, bye! Date! Date! Oh boy! I thought it was supposed to be a date for the coordination! Oh! Dear Diary, so yeah, Ben asked me out on this date. Great! So now I have to spend more time with him! I could have just spent time drawing or hanging out with Edie or plotting. Ugh! I know, I know. I mean, I just don't want to spend any more time with him than I already have to, you know? And yes, he's a good guy, and he's pretty cool. I mean, he helped Carl's cock with his dog beer and get better at turning. But if I hang out with him too much, all that Ordo chair will rub off on me. I'll lose my edge. I have to be on guard. And, okay, I gotta stop here, though. I'm off to find Evie. If anyone knows how to prepare for a date with a prince... There you are. I have been looking for you literally everywhere. What's wrong? Ben just asked me out on... A date. Nice. We can handle this. Bye. Dear Diary, do's and don'ts for dating a prince. Advice from Evie. Do use makeup. Do have a style that's all your own. Don't let the prince play on the date. Don't be nervous. Don't do his chemistry homework. Okay, almost there. Okay. <laughs> Easy on the bush. I don't want to scare him away. Not that I could. Please. My mom taught me how to play blush before I could talk. Always use a bush stroke. My mom's never big on makeup tips. I never had a sister. Well, now you do. We're going to need all we can get if we don't pull this off. My mom's another barrel of last when she does get away. <sighs> Just ask Snow White. Are you afraid of her? Sometimes. Are you afraid of your mom? <sighs> I just really want to be proud of you. I mean, she gets so angry with me when I disappoint her. Uh, yeah, I know. She's my mom. So, yeah, she loves me in her own way. Oh, here's my scarf you can borrow. Okay, well done, you want to see? <laughs> I know, right? I would say it. Not hideous. Not even close. <laughs> not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, I think he's here. Dear Diary, so Ben picked me up in my dorm room and I immediately noticed he seemed different. He didn't dress as preppy as he normally does. His hair was a little messy. I could just run out of bed. And then he smiled. He went downstairs to the quad where he parked his Vespa. He gave me an extra helmet, a purple one with a rose painted on it, and we took the back rose to an enchanted lake on the other side of Ordon. I remember how my cheek pressed against his back as the Vespa sped around curves, how tightly I had to hold on to him. The ends of my hair were out of the helmet, and they kept whipping around, flying everywhere as the wind rushed past. Beautiful. Yeah, it is. So, I've been writing a speech for my coordination about 
giving children the Isle of the Lost a second chance. Really? Yeah, and I think it might be great for everyone. Everyone in Ordon. It's pretty amazing. So, is this your first time? Hmm? Um, we don't want to date much on you. It's more like getting activated. Oh, this has got a little <laughs> something. Um, let me do this. God, <laughs> can't take me anywhere, I guess. I, uh, I thought I was talking. Your turn. I really don't know much about you. Tell me something. <laughs> well, I'm 16. I'm an only child, and I only live in one place. Me, me, me too. We have so much common already. No. <laughs> Trust me. You do not. And now you're going to be king. Yeah. What? The crown doesn't make you a king. Well, it kind of does. Yeah, and your mother is Mistress Evil. Yeah, and I got to post a pair of goodness. But we're not going to be all magic and like them. We get to choose who we're going to be. And right now, I can look to you guys and I can tell you not evil. Let's see. Dear Diary, I must be a terrific actress. I am my mother's daughter. 16 years on that island can't be erased just because Ben wants things to be different, to be better. Maybe I want that, too. Who knows? It doesn't matter, though. Anyway, we sat there for a while, and then Ben went swimming. He was a bit underwater for at least five minutes because I was totally certain he had drowned. I jumped in to save him. One problem, I can't swim! So he actually ended up saving me. Ugh. You scared me! You can't swim? No. And do you thank me? No. All I get is soaking wet. <sighs> Mal, I told you that I loved you, but what about you? Do you love me? I, I, I don't know what love feels like. Maybe I could teach you. Dear Daddy, what is happening to me? Why does my brain feel like it's melting? I can't stop thinking about Ben. Anyways, I had strawberries for my first time. Mm-hmm. It was delicious. I mean, it's not home sweet home. I mean, it's delicious. And it's sweet and fresh, like I'm in the Isle of the Lost. I mean, who cares though, really? I mean, Ben only treated me so nicely because he's under a love spell. It's not real, Mel. It's not real. It's just, it's not real. Dear Diary, I know, I know, I promised myself I wasn't going to write any more entries about Ben. But this is an entry about him. This is me. This is me writing what I want to write about Ben, but I'm not going to do it. It's not about the day or what he said to me when he held my head in his... It's not about the way he looked at me, it was a bit kind of, it's not, you know what? I'm seriously not going to do this. I'm not going to think about it that silly date anymore. I shouldn't. I'm stop writing this. Now. <sighs> oh, children, excuse me. Um, as you know, this Sunday is family day here at Oradon Prep. Wish we had a pop quiz. And because your parents can't be here to, well, distance, we arrange for a special treat. Uh, I don't see anything, nor do I hear. Kids, come on! It, is it, it, is it, uh, press enter. Oh, uh, can, can I play the remote? Is this thing on? Uh, it's broken. What's you like taking so long? Oh. Godmother. You know, doing tricks with eggs, please? Ugh, I turned a pumpkin into a beautiful carriage! You really couldn't give Cinderella till 1 a.m.? I mean, really? What, the hands have to be back on that little wheel? Okay, there were mice! Uh, and Fair Godmother can't talk to Snoop Kim, thank you. Okay, there were mice! Hi, Mom! No! I miss you! You children have a fun for that! Got it! Uh, there's a big coordination coming out and something after that. When? Friday! 10 a.m. You sure I can't see you before that? I don't know what I'm doing. Don't you understand the magic part? I, I you! You little nugget, I love so much! 
<laughs> yes, I can fucking understand, mother. I'm so sorry. Thanks for the special treat. Of course. Em, what do you think her parents could do to us if we don't pull this off? I think we'll be quietly disappointed in us, but ultimately proud of us. We're doing our best. Really? No, I think we are definitely goners. Come on. <sighs> oh, Ben! Hey, Mal! Oh, hey. Uh, you okay? Yeah, fine. Just take me a nice walk, I guess. <laughs> So, uh, you know how Carl's and dude met, and it was so great, yeah. So, I'll see you at the coordination, okay? Okay. <sighs> Gotta get to the plan. We all know what this looks like. So we'll be up on the dais, under the beast's spell jar. Ben will be coming in from here. I will be in the very front. So I'll find our limo so we can break the barrier and uh, get back on the island with the wand. Perfect. We'll use this to take out the driver. Two sprays, and he will be out like a light. Dear Diary, so we finalized our plan tonight, everyone got their roles, and it was good. And then Evie noticed something that I was reading from her spell book. Um, you want to break Ben's love spell? Yeah. You know, for after. Um. Dear Diary, where was my choice? When do I get to decide who I am and what I want to be? Why has everything always been chosen for me? Maybe it's not worth questioning. I have to get the one. I can't face my mother without it. I should just put this cupcake for Ben in a box and save it for the day of the coronation. I'll give it to him before I steal the wand. That's the only thing I could do to help. The only chance I have now. So I choose to set him free. Hi, Mom! <laughs> I'll just edit it. <laughs>